Welcome back everybody for a new guide on StarOcean and on this one I want to show how you can improve your setup to AFK farm with scouting and bodyguard on. If you're not sure how to unlock scouting and bodyguard I'm mentioning that in my other video so make sure you check that out before this one as this video will be much more focused on how to improve that to the maximum. So, as you can see on the screen right now is me not playing the game and my characters are doing all the work with bodyguard, they're farming XP, fall, BP, SP, whatever, uh, while I'm not playing the game. Well, how do we do that? And how early can we do it? So, the first thing to note before starting is it's not perfect. Sometimes you will get into combat without being able to... Your character won't block the the, mon the monsters, won't defeat it, so it might happen. So you don't want to leave too far from your console or keyboard because you will be needed to spam A to just get back to the world map after the battle. Now let's jump in and talk about the setup. So first of all, you're going to make sure you have the IC specialty um, scouting maxed out on at least one character. And the second one is to be make to make sure that you have bodyguard maxed out on level 10. So if you're not sure how to do that, reminder, just check my other video about that. If you're good with that, it's time to check on the equipment needed. So I personally put my three characters that I don't use much in combat, which is Rena, Selene and Welch, and I put them the Ring of Avoidance. So which, what, what it does is it increases the trigger rate of Bodyguard by 30% each, and you can stack those on your character. So I have three characters with, with two Ring of Avoidance each. I believe it's the highest you can get in the game, or at least where I am right now. And before that, I had Intimidation Pendant, which triggers, which increases the trigger rate by 15%. I had that on my characters, but now that I have the highest one, the Ring of Avoidance, what I believe is the highest one, it obviously is way more efficient. So to get Ring of Avoidance, you're going to craft it on either Welch, Rena, or for me it was also Ashton, but depending on your party members, you may want to check, but at least I'm sure Rena got it. And you go to Philosopher's Stone on that character, and you can see I have the Ring of Avoidances uh, available to make. So the next step is how to get Philosopher's Stone. Well, you have a bunch of ways to get them, but the earliest I get some was by completing a mission. So go to your challenge missions right now and check if you already completed the craft 200 times mission in the, uh, I believe it's in specialist tab. Yes, it's right there. And well, voila, with crafting 200 times, you get rainbow diamonds, moonstone, and three philosopher's stone. That's the earliest I could get some. Because in theory, you could craft 200 times as soon as you unlock crafting, which is around when you get Selene in Cross for the first time. But yeah, I didn't do that. I unlocked this mission around Lacour when I tried to get the Aetna Plus. Check my other video if you didn't do that. But obviously that's just three, so we want more than that. So what we can do is later on, when once we unlock Lizard's Flask, we have to get a character up to level 10 on alchemy, a, a character that has Blessing of Mana. So I believe it's only the mages that can have it. So make sure you just, you upgrade the skill on the right character. For me, it was Selene. And as you can see, I have the Philosopher's Stone that are craftable just for iron. So I can make as much as I need as, as I want. So to get the Lizard's Flask, I actually stole it from Welch. Once you first reach Centropolis, you go into PA mode and you'll find Welch on the top of the stairs and you just gonna pickpocket it to get it. Simple. And that's it for the setup, but can we make it even better? Well, I'm still testing things out, so put down in the comment below if you found more information about that, but I believe that we can use formation and food to make the gains even better. So make sure you have one of those formation, like mine is Free Fight, which increases the experience by 50% once you reach 
the 150 orbs that you need so make sure you get that in a regular fight first and with that we're going to couple it with food the personal best I found is the ammo buff soup which gives 50% increased experience or the one who gives that for the BP and SP which is the gelatin steak I believe yeah it's right there SP and BP up by 50% which is huge now does it work it's kind of hard to tell but um, I believe it does or well, I just want to try and see, maybe do some math afterwards, but put down in the comment below if you found out more about that and if for you it's working. And to cook those, it's really, really easy. You go to cooking, and for me it was with Rena. I have the gelatinous slime here, which can cook the both the soup and the gelatin steak. So there you go, guys. Now that we have the final setup, the only thing you need to do is find a good spot which which means that monsters won't get you from behind and all your characters that has bodyguard and the the ring of avoidance gets only one zone to cover and it will drastically diminish the number of battles that you get into. But as I said in the beginning, it's not perfect, far from it. You will still get into battles depending on how good your spot is. Now the real question I will sh I'm sure I will see in the comment below is is it fun? Does it make the game too easy, uh, etc, etc? Well, in truth, it all depends on your own gameplay and are your own fun for me i'm playing on universe mode which is the hardest mode and to be honest i see star ocean games more as a sandbox to craft to explore to try and break the mechanics but if you don't find it fun what well make sure you just deactivate it that's all thank you guys so much for watching this one and i hope you had fun and I will see you in the next one. So make sure you subscribe in the, to the channel to see more. Bye.